Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on types of gets into a casting process. So let us start with the basic characteristics of the getting systems. So just you can see this is the general arrangement of the getting systems that will be used into a casting process. So starting with a pouring cup. So this pouring cup that will be used to collecting the molten form of the metal. So first the molten form of the metal it will be pouring into a pouring cup or you can say pouring basin. So just you can see this pouring cup or basin which will be connected with the sprue. So basically sprue that will be indication as a vertical passage that will be providing for a passing of a molten form of the metals towards the cavity. So just you can see at the end of the sprue it will be a sprue base. So once again the molten form of the metals that will be collecting with the passing through a pouring cup and sprue into a pouring base. So this sprue base which will be connected with the runner. So just you can see runner that will be collecting with the different getting systems. So these getting systems that will be depends upon the size and shape of the castings or you can say mold cavity. So just you can see here that will be the multi getting systems is being used and that will be connecting with the castings and at the end of that castings that will be a riser. So basically riser that will be give the 100% ensurement regarding to the 100% filling of the mold cavity or you can say castings. Second things during the solidifications of the molten form of the metals there are requirements of the additional metals or you can say additional molten form of the metals so which will be from a risers. So that will be also help for that additional metals into a castings or you can say mold cavity. Third things by the pouring of the molten form of the metals into the mold cavity the air is being present so that will be escaping with the help of riser. So there are so many advantages or you can say functions of the risers that will be used into a basic getting systems. So now we will see the different characteristics. So a get is a channel which connects runner with the mold cavity and through which the molten metal flows to fill the mold cavity. Second thing a get should feed liquid metal to the castings at a rate consistent with the rate of the solidification. So basically that solidification rate that will be utilization of the molten form of the metals or you can say which kind of alloying elements which will be used into a molten form of the metals. So the size of the get depends upon the rate of solidifications. So once again the solidifications it will be having a different compositions of the molten form of the metals. A small get is used for a castings which solidifies slowly and vice versa. So as from the size of the jobs that will be depends. More than one gates may be used to feed a fast freezing castings. So this is my requirements. So we are using more than one getting systems. Then a gate should not have sharp edges as they may break during the pouring of the molten form of the metals into a mold cavity. So just you can see first of all the molten form of the metals that will be collecting into the pouring cup or you can say pouring basins and with the help of sprue once again it will be collecting into the sprue base. So we should avoid the sharp edges because by the making of the sharp edges there will be the erosion of that particularly getting systems. Then moreover the sharp edges may be causes the localized delay into the freezings thus resulting into the formation of the whites and inclusions into the cast objects. So these all are the casting defects which will be found after the solidification of the molten form of the metals. So a get may be built as a part of pattern or we are preferring be it may be cut into the mold with the help of a get cutters. So these all are the characteristics. So now we will discussing with the types of gets it will be used into a casting process. 
So basically, first that will be the top gate system, second bottom gate, third parting line side gate systems. So now we will see the first one and that will be a top gate systems. So just you can see the figures here there will be the arrangement of the top gate systems. So as per the name is given, the molten form of the metals it will be entering from the top side of the mold cavity. So just you can see that will be the first, this one is the second one, this is the third and this one is the fourth. But basic arrangement is what? The molten form of the metals it will be entering from the top side into the mold cavity. So just you can see a top gate is sometimes also called as a drop gate because the molten metal just drop onto the sand into the bottom of the mold. So sometimes it will be enlarging the mold cavity as from the that melting point of the metals of that particularly molten metal. Then in top gate a stream of the liquid metals impinges against the bottom of the mold cavity until a pool is formed and this is kept into a state of agitations until the mold is to be filled. So that is the top gate systems. So now we will discussing with the some of the advantages of the top getting systems. So just you can see simplicity for molding. So easily you should make a sand mold with the help of top getting systems. Then low consumptions of additional metals because the molten form of the metals it will be directly pouring into the mold cavity. Then generation of favorable temperature gradients to enable the directional solidification to form the castings towards the gate which serves as a risers too. So both the things of you can say pouring as well as the riser it will be from a top gate systems. Then disadvantages of the top gettings. So the dropping liquids metal streams erodes the mold surface. So that will be enlarging the mold cavity as well as it will be damaging the internal surface of the mold cavity. So that will be the most advantages of the top getting systems. Then dropping metals, dust cutting actions, lifts portions of the surface and causes the scrap. So third one, splashings of metal associated with the liquid metal streams increasing the chances of the oxidations. Then there is lot of turbulence and pickup of air and other gases. So these all are the advantages as well as the disadvantages of top getting systems. Then second one bottom gate. So just you can see the arrangement of the bottom gate. So just you can see this is the pouring basins. So molten form of the metals it will be pouring into these basins. So that will be connected with the sprue runner and into the mold cavity. And as you can see this one is our riser. So this is a cop and drag and in between it will be said to be a parting line. So what happens the molten form of the metals it will be entering into the pouring basin towards the sprue, runner, getting systems and into the mold cavity and towards the risers. So all the molten form of the metals it will be entering from the bottom side of the mold cavity. So first one that will be the simple bottom get systems and just you can see the second one that will be the horn get systems. So once again the horn kind of getting systems it will be arranged into the cop and drag. So this is our pouring basin so molten form of the metals that will be entering from this side and horn kind of getting systems that will be used to inlet the molten form of the metal into the mold cavity. So just you can see a bottom gate is made in the drag portions of the mold. Second thing in a bottom gate, the liquid metals fills rapidly the bottom portions of the mold cavity and rises steadily and gently up the mold walls. The types of bottom gates are simple bottom gates and second one a horn kind of bottom gates. 
So now we will discussing with the some of the advantages of the bottom getting systems. So just you can see there is no scoring or you can say rubbing and splashing into the bottom get. So molten form of the metals that will be easily entering into the mold cavity without any kind of erosions into a mold cavity. As well as that will be not enlarging the shape and size of the mold cavity. So second things as compared to the top get systems the bottom get involves little turbulence and metal erosions. So that will be the major advantages of the bottom getting systems. Then bottom get produces good casting surfaces. Some of the disadvantages of the bottom getting systems and that will be in bottom gates the liquid metal enters the mold cavity at the bottom. So if the freezing take place at the bottoms so it could chalk off the metal flows before the mold is to be full. So suppose the molten form of the metals it will be entering into the mold cavity and some of the inclusions is being present into the molten form and if it will be the some chalking effect around this. So there will be difficulties for 100% filling of the mold cavity. So that will be the major disadvantages of the bottom getting system. So for avoiding such kind of difficulties, so you should take care about the temperature of the molten form of the metals. Then a bottom get creates an unfavorable temperature gradients and makes it difficult to achieve directional solidifications especially when the bottom get has a riser at the top of the castings. Then a bottom get involves greater complexity of the molding. The liquid metal cools as it rises the mold walls and result in cool metal and cool mold near the top risers and hot metals and hot molds near to the get. So these are the major disadvantages of a bottom getting systems. So now we will discussing with the third one and that will be the parting line side gate. So just you can see this is our pouring cup and pouring cup that will be connected with the sprue or you can say down gate. So that will be the runners and molten form of the metals that will be entering from the one of the side of the mold cavity. So this one is our cavity. So the molten form of the metals that will be entering into the cavity of the one of the side. That's why it will be known to be a side getting systems and basically this side gate it will be around a parting line. So it will be known as a parting line side getting systems. So this is the general arrangement and as you can see this kind of arrangement it will be also possible and that will be depends upon my requirements and shape and size of the job. So let's see in parting line gates the liquid metals enters the mold cavity from the side of the mold or you can say cavity. At the parting line separating the cop and drag at or you can say level of the mold joint or you can say in between cop and drag. The examples of the parting line gates are shown into the figures. So the parting line gates can be made by the patterns itself or it can be cut afterwards. As regards the fluid flow parting line gate stands in between top and bottom gate. A parting line gate has proof formed in the cop a recess is generally provided at the base of the sprue to avoid the cutting of the sands at these places. So these all are regarding for the parting line side gate systems. Now we will discussing with some of the advantages of the parting line getting systems. So parting line gates are simple to construct. So you can easily make the sand mold with the help of these kind of getting systems. Parting line gates are very fast to make. Parting line gates provides very satisfactory result when drag is not very deep. Parting line getting makes best compromise between molding convenience and the ideal getting arrangement. Now we will be discussing with some of the disadvantages of the parting line getting systems and that will be in case of the parting line not near to the bottom of the mold cavity or you can say 
the drought portion is deep, some turbulence will occur as a liquid metal falls into the mold cavity. Or you can say it will be also developing the erosions of the mold cavity. Or you can say the damaging into the mold cavity. So cascading or you can say spilling of the molten metal from a height into the mold cavity will causes the erosions as well as the washing of the mold or you can say mold cavity. The cascading in non-ferrous metals will promote air pickup by the liquid metal and thus result in an inferior castings. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share. Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.